everyone, so I've been getting a lot of questions on what hair care products I use now that my hair is lighter. Since my last video I showed you how I got it lighter. So the thing is like it's not very different, it's just some of the main things are more for color treated hair now. And the first thing is shampoo of course. And they're both from John Frieda. And I have two because I switch between them. This one is the Highlight Activating Enhancing Shampoo, and this one is for Color Renew. It's the Tone Restoring one. This one is like a very bright purple shade. I hope that picks up on camera. Yeah, it should. So it's like a bright purple shade, and I didn't get any sulfate-free type shampoos because I don't need my color to um, be very bright. Like, I think it's okay if my color fades because it's just going to get a lighter blonde really and um, it's not like a rich dark opaque color so I just don't want it to turn brassy that's my main thing so that's why I have this one it's the tone restoring one another one for blonde hair that I'd very much recommend is the shimmering lights one from Clairol I think that's what it's called if not I'm just gonna give you the right name right there but yeah, that one's really good too because it helps get yellow out of the hair and this one, purple shampoos, help get redness and oranginess out of the hair. I want um, an okay shade of blonde. I just don't want it to be super orange, that's all. And then for my conditioner, I still use the same thing. This is my regular conditioner, the Pantene Full and Thick. I know a lot of people hate Pantene, but for um, the drugstore brands, John Frieda and Pantene is my favorite hair care stuff. Uh, they seem to work the best for me, so use whatever works for you, you know? And for my deep conditioner, I'm using still the same thing. It's for color treated hair, Garnier Fructis. I'm almost done with it, and it smells really, really fruity and delicious. It makes me hungry. So I'm going to try a new brand. I've been using this for like a couple years now. If you have another really good deep conditioner, why don't you list it below and maybe I'll try it out. For split ends, I use a leave-in conditioner from Bedhead called Ego Boost. It works pretty well. I only apply this to my ends and to the sides of my hair because, well, I have very layered hair, so I have ends like all over my head. But, um... I mainly apply it to my ends because your ends are the driest parts of your hair. And for shine, I use Citra Shine Concentrated Leave-In Treatment. It's not concentrated at all and I really do like it. Last time when I did the video, I wasn't really sure how I felt about it because it was brand new and I didn't really think it worked or anything, but it feels like water. It's weightless. That's awesome. So I really do like this because it does make my hair pretty... It doesn't make it like ridiculously shiny, but it gives it a nice shine. And naturally, my hair is kind of dull. It's not really that shiny. For my heating spray, for my heat like protective spray, I do have the Tresemme one, but now that I've tried this one, I'm not really, probably not going to buy that again, I think. This one's from Matrix Biolage, and this has a medium hold. So that means it not only protects your hair, but if you want to style it like your bangs and um, curl out the ends or things like that, it kind of helps with styling too. So it's like a two-in-one. It's really good. I like that more, a lot more than the Tresemme one. The Tresemme one was just like, um, you spray it on your hair. It's mainly just water and glycerin. That's it. And yeah, you still, I still needed to add like mousse and other things and... That's if I wanted to style my hair. I don't do that every time. So if I'm going to use heat or a hair straightener, a curler, anything like that with high heat, this is good. I use that. And then if I want really, really silky hair, yeah, you can use chi. I actually have the chi, but I've been using this longer. And this one is the Talavera Silk Miracle. It actually came with something I already have called the Split Ender. I'll get to that in a minute. This... This is awesome. It makes my hair feel so, 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 so silky. I love it. It makes it soft and silky. This says that it has vitamin B5, seaweed extracts, and other natural ingredients, and stuff like that. So it 
doesn't, it's not only a styler. I don't know what the Chi exactly is because I was looking at the bottle and it didn't seem like it had other stuff. It's just to make it silky, but this has other things in it. So I would say this is more beneficial. It's like a hair capsule. This will last you a very long time. It's like a little hair, it's a little capsule and you just break off the tip and you pour out the, it's, it feels oily and silky at the same time. Like if you, it feels just like the Chi Silk Infusion thing where it's not exactly oily but it looks like it. It's just really silky and slippery, I don't know. But I'm gonna add this. I know this is a gadget but I feel like taking care of hair um, you really have to take care of your ends, your split ends, because if you're trying to grow out your hair, you want healthy hair, you don't want raggedy, dried up hair. Because in high school, one time when I was growing hair, I was like, you know what, I'm just not going to cut my hair for a really long time. And long time, meaning like six, eight months, my hair did grow out like a bunch. It was from here to like this long I hope you can see it but I had to cut off like this much because the ends were just bad they were lifeless they didn't move so you want to take care of your split ends and this is something that helps you take care of that at home this is not my favorite product or favorite thing to use there's a lot of cons to it but in the end it does do its job so I do like it because you can do it at home. It doesn't get every single split end, of course. And at the hairdresser, every time I ask for a trim, it seems like they always cut off an inch and a half or two inches off. I don't know why, but they always do that. So this only cuts off like a fourth of an inch or like an eighth. Very, very little. So yeah, that's why I use that. And that's it for my products, for my hair care. So if you have color treated hair, the main thing is to keep it deep conditioned and if you're going lighter with hair, for some reason, even if your hair is not very dry, it's going to look dry, like the ends will look fried up even though it's not because it's just so much lighter than its natural color. So you need things that are going to moisturize it and you need things for color treated hair. So if you have darker hair, get sulfate-free shampoos. That way it won't wash out your color. That is if you want your color to last. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching my videos. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.